Battle chess on the NES, there's two words you never thought would go together well, but anyway. If you're a fan of chess, or if you've played chess before, and maybe you have the old NES and you want an actual chess simulator, this is actually not too bad. But, I have one major, major issue with this, and I shall explain it in a minute now. The animations for the movement is so, so slow. I timed it. This knight here is moving, I think, about four places, and it takes 36 seconds. 36 seconds to move one player four spaces. Why does it take so, so, so long? It's so, so boring, but actually, Here's one really, really, really cool bit about the game, and this is the animation bit sections, which are just kind of very, very strange and strangely one-sided, but actually the fact that any sort of animation sequence takes place, I think, personally, is quite cool, but then again, I'm just weird. The Queen animation is quite strange, she actually uses a fireball there to take on a knight, and the knight kills her, and she turns into a pterodactyl. Yeah. The king's even more ruthless. I mean, check this out. Look at that, he just smacked him with his scepter and the guy exploded. How cool is that? It's cool, honestly. Chess is cool. Chess is awesome. Yeah. 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 Anyway, as you can see, the computer basically beat me and we'll now see the queen animation. Here she goes. One fireball. And the king is dead. The queen just made the king explode. Hmm. Overall, if you like chess, you'll like Battle of Chess, I think, really. Apart from, obviously, the issues with movement. And there's various different sort of levels you can choose, you know, the computer skill level. So I imagine there's some variety there. Seriously, though, 36 seconds. Why does it take 36 seconds for one 